everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the Hypercube. <laughs> that is right, this here is a sound reactive, app enabled hyperchromatic art piece that takes you to a different dimension. Think of it almost as a lava lamp fused with a supernova. Now, this particular product is currently on funding on Indiegogo, so if you guys wanted a secret perk, be sure to check out my link down below in the description. Now, first things first, there's a few things you should be aware of in terms of crowdfunding. By supporting this campaign, you're essentially bringing this product to life. Often an entrepreneur or a creator starts a crowdfunding project to go ahead and raise funds to put their product into production. They'll usually have a tested working prototype, but that does not mean they have enough product to go ahead and bring it into a massive scale. They need funding to make it happen. Because the products on Indiegogo would never become real without you, you're playing an integral part in the story on how this product gets made. It's also important to note that this particular product was already delivered to the backers about two years ago, and this particular Indiegogo campaign is for the new batch of Hypercubes that are coming out right now. So they are already building it and they're already putting it into production. So it kind of gives you an idea exactly how you play a role in backing a campaign. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind and get started. All right guys, so this here's our box. Looks really cool, it's got these holographic images. All right, so this here is our user manual kind of explaining exactly how to go and use it. As you kind of flip about, you'll notice it's got a lot of nice colored images showcasing that there's an app that you can go ahead and control. Uh, and you have a lot of different patterns, a lot of different modes. And we have ourselves, it's our power adapter. Uh, so this is actually branded, so that's kind of nice. So it does say Hyperspace Lighting Company. All right, and then this here is going to be our button. This allows us to go ahead and control it. So you can go ahead and turn it on, turn it off. You can go ahead and change the settings. Uh, you can change the different rhythms. Let's see what else is in here? <laughs> Whoa. All right, so this thing is packaged very, very well. So this is actually a pretty good sized box. Peeling it off is so satisfying. So much wrapping. Every corner just has a sticker on it. This is ridiculous. A few moments later. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Finally unwrapped it and we have our Hypercube plugged in. So this here is our control box. So let's go ahead and try this out. Three, two, one, pow! Wow, that is pretty wicked. Look at that. What? This thing is absolutely mind boggling. <laughs> I'm literally feeling like I'm looking into another dimension right now. This is absolutely crazy, guys. Check this out. Do I see myself? No, I don't think I see myself. So it works to be a mirror, so it definitely is kind of unique. So it's like an acrylic mirror glass. I'm not sure, but you can see the LEDs kind of popping through, kind of showcasing a variety of different colors, and there's like a rhythmic pattern going through it. Kind of get lost into it, just kind of staring at it, and I can have to say that is actually a work of art. Now, this particular unit is the 15-inch box, so it does come in a 10-inch box. Uh, this one consists of 480 LEDs, so that is actually an insane amount of LEDs. And then it has over 16,777,216 different colors. I didn't even know that many colors existed. And you can see that every 10 seconds, the color will change and every 60 seconds, the pattern will change. So this here consists of a button. So you simply press it once and it'll go ahead and scroll through the different colors. So obviously it'll change on its own every 10 seconds, but you can manually override it by simply pressing this button here. There's like an infinite of, amount of different variations of colors. That is cool. Now, if I double click it, it'll change the mode. So this here is our meditative mode. So it's kind of slowly transitioning through the colors, kind of giving a more slow and relaxed feel. Press it again, we'll go ahead and switch to different colors and the different modes. So again, very slow, meditative-like. Now if I double click it again, this will be a sound reactive mode. Now this particular control box unit consists of a microphone, which you can adjust through the app as well, but it'll go ahead and detect it and it'll go ahead and showcase the colors like that. <laughs> so I can go ahead and scroll through the different effects. 
So obviously it's kind of up to you what you want to use or you can go ahead and essentially default something based on the app. So go back into the Kaleidoscope mode. So this here is going to be our Hypercube app. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus. This will go ahead and connect to it. So we're gonna add a new Hypercube here, connect to our Wi-Fi. Um, and then allow the hypercube to join. So we just joined and now we're gonna go ahead and connect to it directly. Now you can go ahead and connect the hypercubes to other hypercubes so you can go ahead and essentially have a little show. All right, so this here is our app mode. So I can go ahead and go through the different modes here and then I can go ahead and scroll through the different functions by clicking the next button. So kind of like clicking the button once and then I can hit stay on the current pattern. So this will not change the pattern at all. Generally it'll change every 60 seconds, but again, you can go ahead and adjust that as well. And then these are all the different modes. So these here are all the different kaleidoscope ones. So you can just click on something like this and it'll go ahead and change to that. Um, and they have actually pretty cool names like Hypernova, uh, Hyperbolic Manifold, <laughs> Fusion Core. Like who, whose job was it to make these names? These are actually really cool names. Cosmic Rays, Atomic Generator like superhero names almost. <laughs> uh, so moving on, we have a meditative mode. So these are like uh, different ones here. So you can see like, you know, ignition, um, phase wipe. Again, really cool names. Uh, this one's twinkle. So it looks like stars. That's pretty cool. Like very futuristic, right? Um, and then you have your sound reactive mode. So you can see how it kind of functions based off of that. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's actually kind of nice in how they did this. So for instance, if I clicked on one of these here, so if I go into uh, this one right here, um, I can go ahead and click on colors and this will allow me to go ahead and change the colors or adjust the colors. So I can go ahead and adjust the first color to red, just like that. And I can click on the second one here, adjust it to say green. You'll see a little bit of green. And if I go to the last one here, I can go to blue. So I got red, green, and blue. Yeah. So you can just mess around with the colors and just create your own custom palette or you can go ahead and scroll through the variety of different palettes. Uh, so this one's lava. Uh, and you can just go ahead and find what you like. So this one here's ocean. So obviously you can do it for a variety of different things. So it's kind of nice. Uh, so you have your palettes, so you can customize them and then you have your timer mode. Timer mode essentially is like a night light. So after approximately 60 minutes, it'll go ahead and turn off. Uh, so you can go ahead and dim it, brighten it, whatever you want to do. So if I click on more here, I can go ahead and dim the brightness of the, the LEDs all the way down to off and then all the way up to the brightest. I can increase the speed. I can slow the speed. I can increase the intensity and then I can hit freeze. It'll automatically freeze in the motion. Unfreeze, freeze. All right, so the next thing we'll look at is the symmetry mode. So under more, under settings, you'll actually see the symmetry mode. This here will essentially control the geometry of the lights. So right now we're on default, but if we click on no symmetry, it'll kind of keep it steady. And then if I go ahead and hit cubic, you'll see it kind of rotate about in a different pattern. Uh, helical, yeah, that's cool. So it kind of gives it a very unique perspective in terms of colors, triangular. Uh, this here's mirror. That's kind of cool. So these are like different, think of it as almost like animations or the kind of the way the light moves throughout the actual cube. So it's actually very unique. See how that looks. That is really very interesting. And then uh, we have uh, inversion. Oh, that's pretty trippy. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, and then cyclic. Whoa. <laughs> That is cool. So it kind of gives an idea what that is. So you have all these controls that you can go ahead and, you know, increase the brightness, uh, increase the speed, um, the intensity. So pretty crazy stuff, right? And then, yeah, so you have uh, your configuration. So you can go ahead and adjust the brightness uh, for the default brightness. So you can go ahead and make it even brighter than it is. Uh, so if I go to 255, there we go. Um, I can then go ahead and adjust the pattern time. So every 60 seconds will change pattern. Every 10 seconds will change colors. I can go and change the, the fading um, and just a lot of different things. So it's actually kind of cool how they did that. So you have a, a good amount of customization and a good amount of variation. It's kind of up to you on how you want to go play about it. So let's go ahead and see how this thing looks next to the computer and try it out. <laughs> Check it out. So this is just a little idea that I came up with. So use as a computer display piece. Obviously, you don't want to put too much weight on there. I actually have it sitting on the frame rather than the glass, so just keep that in mind. But it looks really nice. Look at this. So we got our infinity case with our hypercube. 
uh, kind of resembly similar pattern. So very, very unique. Um, definitely sets it off. Look at that. That is so sick. <laughs> wow. Absolutely gorgeous. This here is the Hybrid Cube. Definitely a very unique product and one of a kind. Now, if you guys have any questions about the Hybrid Cube, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.